Hi and good morning. This is Peggy from Perfectly Happy Mom. Um, I wanted to talk about something today that is starting to become quite a um, big feature of my life. Is the fact that I realise I am quite an anxious mum. And it is starting to um, become quite a big thing. Um, and I just needed to share that with you guys and to see if I could um, get some feedback from you and hopefully some help to get better. Because obviously as the boys grow older, they need more independence and they need to do more things by themselves and they need to experience much more things. And I am starting to reach the level where it's too much what they're trying to do and I'm worried, I'm worried all the time that they might injure themselves, that they might break their skull, falling out of something, that they might be run over um, by a car when they whiz down the street on their scooter and um, that if I don't see them at the bottom of the aisle in the shops that someone might take them away and they might disappear forever and this is obviously um, all of my concerns are the concerns of any single parent, I think. Um, and that would be any parent's worst nightmare if any of this was happening. But it is becoming quite um, intrusive in my life now. Um, Victor is, for example, a child who loves running around and he loves running, running away from me. And not because he runs away from me, just because he just loves running and he is discovering the world and he's very playful and and all of this the problem is that he blanks me out when he's he's running he doesn't listen he I can hear him laughing and and you know laughing away because he's running and he doesn't listen so I can scream at the top of my head to ask him to stop but he won't and that is starting to become a problem because he's three years old and I can't strap him forever in the buggy we have um, a harness, we have a wrist, um, wrist thing, um, but I just don't want to do that forever, I want him to learn and um, for more than anything I think I want to learn to relax and learn to chill and trust their instinct and trust the fact that they will um, naturally stop where they need to stop. Um, and. I, I'm reaching a stage where with Elliot going to big school and seeing how other moms there with all the children are, um, I'm starting to feel a little bit that actually, you know, I have a problem, you know, because I can obviously see that most moms around me, they're just really chilled and, you know, they let the kids run around and round and round, disappear out of this, um, of their sight, but they come back. I'm just worried that if mine disappear away from my sight, they won't come back. Not so much Elliot. He's nearly five now, so I'm actually a bit, you know, I'm, I'm actually quite confident. And I know him, and I'm confident that he will come back, and he will stop when I ask him. I'm, I'm very in, in trust with Elliot, but I'm not in trust with Victor. Um, I'm not confident he will... Um, actually stop when I ask him if he runs away from me and this puts me in a position where I'm even more anxious now so um, the things that I think are the worst is that I go through waves of really um, high anxiety I think that's what I can say it's just I get really nervous something's going to happen something bad and it's not all the time, so I think sometimes I'm wondering if it's got to do something with my hormones or something. Apparently, when you're a woman, anything like this, blame your hormones. Um, I'm wondering if it's something like this. Is it, you know, sometimes I go through waves, it goes up and down throughout the month, so maybe it's got something to do with that. But I don't want to be um, that sort of mom who's, you know, won't let go and, and just constantly worried. And I'm actually starting to feel judgment as well from other moms in the playground, which is the thing that actually is starting to worry me, is I'm starting to feel like if they're judging this, it's probably because they feel it's not normal. And if it's not normal, what is normal? And how can I get in the normal? Because, you know, if it was just about me, I wouldn't care what they think, and I wouldn't care any of that. But 
it's about my children. I don't want them to grow up thinking, Mum, let go, you know. I really don't want to be that mum. So I was wondering if you could help and if you could give me some tips and let me know how I could slowly let go and how I could, you know, gently become a much more relaxed mum. Um, so hopefully you can help. Thank you anyway. Bye.